What are the best looking and the ugliest cars from each manufacturer currently on sale? Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you what I think, and then you can decide if you agree with me or not. Now I'm gonna run through this list from A to Z of all the manufacturers, and as I go through it, you might notice that I've missed a couple. The reason for that is that there are some manufacturers who don't make a single ugly car. They're all good looking. I'll reveal those at the end. But then there's some manufacturers that don't make a single good looking car. They're all absolutely minging. And I'll reveal that at the end of the video as well. I'm Matt Watson, you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, car, wow. Let's start this list then with Audi. So the best looking car from Audi, I'm gonna shock you now, is the e-tron GT. No, it's not the R8. That is good looking, but I think the e-tron GT is even better looking. In fact, even though it's based on a Porsche Taycan, I would have the Audi just because of the way it looks so cool. Ironically though, the ugliest car from Audi is also electric. It's the Q4 e-tron. The sides, the back, the interior, they're all good, but the front just looks so wrong. The grille just doesn't work and doesn't even need it. It's electric. Ugh. Bentley, this is very easy, self-explanatory. So the Continental GT looks gorgeous. The Bentayga, does not. That's all I have to say on the matter. The best looking BMW is without doubt the 8 Series. It's got BMW's older, less offensive grille, and from the side, the coupe profile is just gorgeous. The ugliest car could be the iX, it's not. It could be the new X7, it's not. It could be the 2 Series Active Tour, it's not. It's the all new 7 Series, but with the grille combined with those new headlights. What the hell is going on? The Cooper Formentor is a really good looking car. It looks great in pictures, and when you see it in the flesh, it's even better. The opposite is true of the Cooper of Bourne. Mm. It doesn't look great in photos, it looks even worse when you see it for real. It's basically an ID3 that just has a really ugly face. Moving on to Dacia. So the best looking car from them is the Spring. It's not exactly beautiful, but it, it's okay. The worst looking car is the Jogger. While the car itself is really, really good at what it does, it, the result is it doesn't look great. For instance, it looks like it's an estate that's slightly jacked up, combined with a hatchback, and then it's got the rear end of an old Volvo. It doesn't really work together particularly well from a visual perspective. Practical though. Next up is Ferrari. Now for me, the best looking Ferrari currently on sale is the 296. It's just beautiful. It's almost like a greatest hit of design features from older Ferraris. The ugliest Ferrari though is the Portofino. I mean, if you've bought one of these cars, well done you, you've managed to buy a very rare thing, an ugly Ferrari. The best looking Fiat is the 500 and ever has it been so. The ugliest Fiat is the Tipo. I mean, how different does that look from the 500? Is it even from the same manufacturer? The best looking forward is the Mustang. No, actually not that one. It's the Mustang Mach-E. The way Ford have made an electric SUV look super cool is amazing. However, they weren't so good at making the Echo Sport look amazing. They were obviously economical with the design team's budget. It seems that there's two different design teams at Honda, those responsible for designing good looking cars and those that end up making ugly cars. So in the good looking pile, you've got stuff like the NSX, the HRV, and of course, the best looking of all, the little Honda E. Then in the ugly pile, you've got stuff like the CRV and of course, the biggest munter, the Jazz. It looks a bit like Kermit the Frog when he's angry. You see that? The Hyundai Ionic 5 is actually one of the best looking cars on sale today, I think. And the Tucson is one of the ugliest. It's almost a worst hit of designs that it's copied from other manufacturers. Bizarrely, the best looking car from Jaguar isn't a sports car. It's actually an electric vehicle, the I-Pace. The ugliest car is also a Pace, the E-Pace. E clearly stands for EW. Jeep, I can keep this really short. Wrangler, looks great. Renegade, looks shite. The best looking car you can buy is the EV6. Really, really cool piece of design. The worst looking car is the Sportage. The main issue is the grill, where it looks like everybody in the world has had to go at designing it altogether. I know this may offend some Land Rover Defender purists, but the best looking Land Rover is the new Defender. It is better looking than the original. Great work by JLR's design team. Mind you, they had some making up to do after what they did to the Discovery. It went from looking like this to this. The Lexus LC is a great piece of design, such a stunning looking car. Can't say the same about the UX though. 
The thing about the side profile, there's just too many lines and angles going on. It just doesn't work on a car that size. The MC20 is the best looking Maserati, and you can't argue with that. The ugliest Maserati though, is the Ghibli. It's got a droopy nose, and the rear looks like it was copied from an old Hyundai before they learned how to design cars properly. Often car manufacturers have a design theme running through their range, but not so much at Mazda. You see, you wouldn't think that the company that could design the rather lovely MX30 could also make the horrendous CX60. What's going on with that car's face? The best looking McLaren is the 765 LT. It's all unique with its crazy headlights, angular aggressive design. The ugliest one is the GT. It's not necessarily ugly though, I guess. It's just so boringly generic. <sighs> okay. The best looking Mercedes isn't the new SL sports car. It is the G-Wagon. And anyone who thinks otherwise is wrong. The worst looking Mercedes is the EQS. It's as though the design team created a model and they left it too close to the fire and then the factory didn't realise and they just went and built the result anyway. It's all kind of droopy and melty. The best looking MG is the little three. Nice little hatchback that. The ugliest car is the five. Well, only in the UK because we have the preface lifted model which looks like an old VW Passat but worse. In Europe, they get a better looking version. The Aria is the best looking Nissan. The Leaf is the ugliest. Enough said. Over at Peugeot, it seems an extra zero can make all the difference and not in a good way. For instance, the 508 looks gorgeous. The 5008 looks ugly. The Phantom is the best looking Rolls Royce. The ugliest one is the Cullinan. Reason is, if you have it in black, it looks like a London taxi, only not quite as nice. It's not easy to make a small SUV look cool, but the Renault Capture does. It's easy to make an electric car look cool, but Renault failed with the Zoe. It's a bit ugly, isn't it? I'm not saying it's because I'm biased or anything, because I've got one, but the best looking Suzuki is the Jimny. You can't argue with that. The ugliest car is the S-Cross. It's ugly from the front, it's ugly from the side, and it's not great from the back either. Fortunately though, the roof's really cool. You never get to see that though. The roof's normal, which would be stupid. The best looking Tesla is the Model 3. The ugliest Tesla is the Model Y, which looks like a 3 that ate all the pies. Once again, I'm not saying this because I'm biased because I've got one, but the best looking Toyota is the GR Yaris. It's a fact, okay? It's not even a matter of opinion. The ugliest Toyota is the Prius, especially from the rear. The best looking Vauxhall or Opal, depending on where you're from, is the Mokka. It looks cool. The ugliest Vauxhall or Opal, depending on where you're from, is the Crossland. It looks newel. Only the French will get that. The best looking Volkswagen is actually sort of a van, not a car. It's the ID Buzz. Their ugliest car is also an ID. It's the ID4. Design just doesn't work for me. I'll tell you what does work for me though. The design of the cars from the following manufacturers, because here's my rundown of the brands which only make good looking cars. And they are Aston Martin, Lamborghini, Polestar, Porsche, and Volvo. Then there's those manufacturers that while their cars aren't exactly good looking, none of them are ugly. And they are Alfa Romeo, DS, Genesis, Seat, and Skoda. Finally though, we come to the manufacturers that I believe only make ugly cars. So the list of shame is as thus. Citroen, Mini, which is a bit of a shame because they used to look cool, but now they're over-designed. Subaru, old looking cars. And the worst of the worst, Sanyong. God, I didn't have my lunch before this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know what you think of my list in the comments. Click on those windows there for some more videos and on that box there to go to CarWow. See how much you can save on a new car. Thanks for watching.